Hey guys, I'm Victor Garcia, your CS tutor, and today we're talking about 2D arrays. Before we're talking about 2D arrays, uh, let's refresh our memory on what a 1D array is, or a regular array. Uh, to declare a regular array, we just do the type, these brackets, the name of the array you want to call it, and uh, the data in that array. So we put the data inside these little curly brackets here. Now I have three regular arrays or one dimensional arrays. So I declare them array one, array two, and array three. Now uh, you could use this and just interchange between array one, array two, and array three in your code. Or what we can do to better uh, manage our code and our data, we can make a two dimensional array that holds all of this. So to do that, all we have to do is Okay, what did I just do? I took all the arrays from my previous declarations and I stuck them into this other array, which I called array 2D. And what I did to declare this array 2D was I just added another brackets in front of the int. This is what uh, tells Java that I'm making a two dimensional array. And as you can see in our zeroth index of our array 2D is my array one, zero, which uh, contains zero, one, two, three. And our first index of our array 2D is our second array that we had before. So our two dimensional array is just an array of arrays. So now that we know how to make 2D arrays, uh, let's look at it a little bit differently. Here I have my grid two dimensional array. And I call it a grid because I see 2D arrays a lot like grids. As you can see, we have rows and we have columns and we can number them so let's start with row zero row one row two and row three and then we also have our columns over here so we go column zero column one column two and column three now if we were to just want to grab one of the indexes in this or in this two dimensional array. Let's say we want this particular index. We could just say in my grid, I want to get row one, column one, and that will give us our number, our this index. So we do that by calling grid. And then in the first bracket, that would be our rows. We would say we want one. And in our second bracket, we would say we want also one, since it's in row one, column one. This would be equal, so that is equal to one. Now let's say I want uh, this index. How would we do that? Okay, it will be the same. We get we call our array. And now we have to find out the row it's in. So it would be row two. And it would be column three. And that should be equal to zero. So that's a way of uh, looking at indexes. And that's also how we would iterate. Because we will want to iterate through a two-dimensional array. We will iterate through the rows. And at each row we're iterating at, we iterate through the columns of that row. And that's how we reach every single index in a two-dimensional array. Let's look at some examples in the code editor. So here we are at the code editor. As we can see, I uh, declared my uh, two-dimensional array up here with a bunch of ones and zeros. And this is where I'm gonna be iterating it through. You can see in the outer for loop, I am iterating through the outer array or the rows. And that's going to go from the zeroth row all the way to the last row. And at each iteration or at each row, we're going to be iterating through all the columns. So we're going to go from the leftmost column all the way to the rightmost column. And we're at each column, we're going to print out the index. So we're going to print out uh, the row and the column at that uh, index. And we're going to do that. Uh, until we print out every single index in this two-dimensional array. Let's see if that works. As you can see, it prints out exactly what we have in our two-dimensional array. So 
we went from the first array or the, at the zeroth index. We uh, went through the leftmost column one. We printed that out. Then we went to the next column zero, next zero, next zero. We finished that one. We printed a new line, and then we went on to the next row, and so forth, so forth. Now let's uh, do a little bit of a different example. Since I I'm an artist and I like to paint, I like to draw a lot. Whenever I see something like this, I immediately go to the next thing, which is painting or making a nice, cool image. And you could do that with a two-dimensional array. So uh, let's, let's see how we can do that uh, in our next example. So here I have the code set up already. And if we could see our array, uh, let's look at it. Whoa. Okay, it's a lot, a lot of code up here. It's a lot, a big old mess of a two-dimensional array. But what, what happens when we iterate through every single index and we print it out like we would a painting? We get this cute little image of a cat. And that's one of like the cool things that you could do with a two-dimensional array is you can make things uh, like this. It's an awesome way uh, to just be creative with code. Uh, I hope you a little bit uh, learned a little bit more about two-dimensional arrays, and you know how to iterate them, and how to declare them, and how to use them. Thank you so much. I'm Victor Garcia, your CS Tutor, and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.